Yo, welcome to the video, guys. I am recording this on April the 13th, and uh, what just happened was UFC 300, which a lot of people weren't hyped for. I made a predictions video about that like a month ago, in which, I'm not gonna lie, I got so much hate in those comments. If you hated on that video, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. I literally got like every single fight from early prelims to to the end i got like basically every single fight right besides like one which was the holly home and the other one right literally got every single one right basically uh maybe maybe with a discrepancy of one or two but there's so much hate on that video just like oh you don't know what you're talking about this that you don't know what you're talking about did i know what i was talking about seems i did but ufc 300 just happened and wow was it a great event from early prelims to the end obviously it's ufc 300 so it's gonna have a great fight all over but this was like elite like this this was a really good card all right so just for a straight recap i'm gonna start from early prelims to the end and just say every fight that happened right first we have davison figueredo versus garbrandt and figueredo won with a round two submission then we have bobby green versus jim miller bobby green round three de uh, decision which bobby green was fighting bro if you guys saw how bloody that fight was bobby green was fighting he, he i like i love bobby green's style of just like you know most people they have their arms down and then they like get close like for the people with that style they have their arms down but when they get close they pull their arms up his arms are down the whole time so unpredictable so like <laughs> then andrage versus marina rodriguez um yeah andrage won finally now she's gonna lose three fights in a row Jalen Turner versus Renato. Uh, Renato won with a round two KO. Messed Jalen Turner up, bro. Jalen Turner messed, all right? That's the end of the early prelims. Then we go to just the actual prelims. Sadiq for Yusuf versus Diego Lopez. Bro, Diego Lopez knocked that nigga out. Round one, a minute, 29 seconds. This nigga knocked him out bad, bro. And I genuinely wholeheartedly, that 300k bonus, because you know everyone's fighting harder, because Dana said that instead of a 50k bonus, it was going to be a 300k bonus. And this Sadiq Yusuf, like, by the way, Sadiq Yusuf was so annoying in the presser, talking about, uh, so we should get uh, a bonus for every single, for the early prelims, the normal prelims, and the, and the, thing. he kept talking about it. And bro, he's giving you a 300k bonus now. I think there was a 300k for... Uh, performance of the night there was 300k for both fighters on fight of the night uh yeah and uh then it's holly home versus kayla harrison yo raquel pennington is shaking in her boots bro raquel pennington is shaking in her boots like the so when she saw what kayla harrison did i'd be terrified by the way back to uh sadiq yusuf and diego lopez insanely great knockout like Diego Lopez was doing it, and I'm not gonna lie, we are looking at a future champ in my eyes. I think, I think Diego Lopez can really do it. I wholeheartedly believe that he has the ability to, and he he fights a like, great. He is a great fighter. Now I already talked about Holly Holm. Then Calvin versus Aljamain Sterling, define a boring ass fight. Aljamain try to have an entertaining fight challenge. Can't. I was just waiting for the next fight, bro. Like it was. I was just waiting the whole time like there's nothing and then i had to get my life saved by yuri yuri prohaska my goat the european samurai that nigga racket called him said you're not a, you're not a samurai he said you're not a samurai and and yuri took that to heart and yuri chill out he he knocked him out so bad he forgot to do his celebration the samurai celebration afterwards like yuri wanted to kill him it's just crazy and here it was an insanely good knockout like this is dog dog like I, I don't even know what more to say about that right and now we go to the main card me top 10 bone nickel haters and ironically i had a friend who had a parlay on this game he bets on the bone nickel going to the second round if you've seen any bone nickel fight before bone nickel doesn't go to the second round right he always takes the dude out in the first round which i just dislike bone nickel i have no valid reason by the way everything here is biased i have no valid reason right bo nickel just pissed me off and he won the fight still right but it went to the second round he
he had Cody Brundage laughing at him in the first round. That made me feel good. That made me happy. Oh, I'm very happy to see it. And the next fight is Charles Oliveira versus Armand. Now, I'm not even going to grace Armand with the last name because he knocked out my goat. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, Charles Oliveira is one of my favorite fighters. He's like a pillar favorite uh, in the sport. And uh, he was doing well, but like, God, he's so good. When he, when, when in the second round, because the first round, it, I, I think I could get that to Oliveira. But the second round, Armand, he, he, they, when they went to the ground, Armand, if you don't know, he is one of the most elite ground and pound fighters you will ever see in your life. And we, uh, Oliveira couldn't allow that, right? So Oliveira had to try to either get up or try to defend from the ground and pound. And he decided to try to defend from the ground and pound. Uh, and that gave him a lot of control time. He won the second round. Third round was just complete outclassed. I don't know what more to say. I can't even cope. I can't even cope for my favorite fighter. Um, Oliveira, you'll do better next time. Armand, you gotta watch your mouth, bro, because you really don't want Islam right now, though. I, I, I don't, I'm not an Islam fan because of what he did to Oliveira previously, but uh, Armand, you just you don't want Islam, to be honest. Right. Next fight is Gaethje versus Holloway, if not the most entertaining fight, which I personally believe, fight of the night, right? And they had a good fight within like the, I think maybe the first round, second round, I think it was first round. Holloway broke his nose, broke Gagey's nose. And then in the second round, uh, he gets, he eye pokes him here with like a, no, he eye pokes him here with his finger, like, and he did this, but he did that, crazy. And then second one, he like grabs his face, puts his whole thumb in his eye, oh. And, and that was in the same round within like the span of uh, two minutes. And so, it, it <laughs> But Gaethje, he's a dog. Remember, we can't forget Gaethje's a dog. So Gaethje fights through it. Gaethje keeps fighting. And Holloway keeps fighting. They have a great fight. A lot of amazing strikes. Last 10 seconds, Holloway does what Holloway does. Holloway points to the ground and says, come here right now. Gaethje's, Gaethje, obviously Gaethje's no bitch. Gaethje goes, oh, I'll, I'll come right now. Golly, performance of the night. Here's your 300K. Here is your 300K. Good job, guys. Great job. An amazing performance literal studs 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 like just absolutely like crazy right and then Wei Li versus Yan I, I I'm personally on was on Wei Li's fight but I like both of them I believe that Yan is the best female striker right now and they are having a great match but within I believe the second round Wei Li is going to uh, catch her and uh is gonna catch her and submit her and Yan gets submitted. Yan is out last second. And there were even rumors I heard that people were saying of uh, the cut man saying, I got some salt that'll bring her back. But later in the replay, it sounded more like he said, I got some stuff that'll bring her back. And then he put like an ice cube by her nose. I don't I don't fully know which it was. But if it was salts, that's definitely illegal. Uh, which Dana White and uh, what's his name? Daniel Cormier, they both like talked about and if it wasn't then sure whatever but then Jan had a great performance coming out of that and uh though the this was like a great fight it ended a little boring on the ground completely but i can't be mad at it because sun was absolutely beating whaley with the strikes every time they would get into strikes but whenever whaley would take her to the ground it would be the exact opposite so i believe that it made logical sense whaley this is what you should have done it makes complete sense. So uh, how am I supposed to hate on a fighter for wanting to keep their belt? You know what I mean? How am I supposed to hate because you did the logical thing because you couldn't beat him? That's like me standing in bank. That's like me right now standing and banging with Holloway. I'm not winning that because he can box. Oh. And obviously we go to the main Pereira and Jamal Hill. If you saw my last video, not a big fan of Jamal Hill. Like, and especially if in the press conference, there was like this whole scene where Pereira turned and looked at him and he didn't look at him at all. The second Pereira looked away, Jamal Hill stared at him and started talking shit. And I get it, it's press. We saw later they were friendly, everything. And it is what it is, but I already wasn't a fan of Jamal Hill previously. He also knocked out Glover, who I like. And then they get into the fight and round one, this dude, Pereira, gets kicked in the nuts. Uh, or uh, gets his cupcake. It was kind of like a, a graze. But then Herb's trying to pause it. He says, nah, 
knocks him off. And that, there's people who are out there saying that Jamal Hill wasn't ready, so he got, like, what happened next? Knocked the hell out. But they touched gloves. He was ready. It was just That was just an unbelievable strike. And he beats him up, and then he does the Kabi lame, like, easily, like, like fucking stellar, dude. Great. And then uh, uh, another thing that I really liked is afterwards, after this amazing card, because that was the last fight in the card, uh, which, by the way, I feel like on most of these cards, it's like the other fights are taking super long. The second it gets to the main, it's over. It's over so quick. It happened with, uh, in, like, both fucking senses of... Uh, what's his name um uh damn i was thinking of volk versus islam because he knocked the fuck out of him i think of kamzad versus uh um usman like i see this happening a lot it's just what happens but uh yeah and then afterwards what's his name uh he announced that what do we have we have um it was well he announced that uh it would finally be set up what is their names? Michael Chandler and Conor McGregor will finally be set up and that will be happening, which will be great. And he also said another card, which I can't remember the main, but I know that the co-main is Strickland versus Costa. And the main is, I can't remember. I can't remember. If I do remember somehow, I will edit it in. If not, this is the end of the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And peace.